I've got a daughter, she's 26 now. She would have been older, but her father stuttered. And... <laughs> We have a great relationship. We go on holiday together. And last year, we went to Italy. And before I went, I thought, Italian women are dead chic. So I thought, I'll save up a few bob and I'll go into town and I'll have my hair done. So I thought, where will I go? I'll go to Herbis. <laughs> Cost you a five, it's a fart, but it's worth it. <laughs> Not that we girls ever do that, heaven forbid. No, we might smell funny when we cough, but we never fart, do we? <laughs> we all do, don't we? We all go... <laughs> <coughs> we do, we do. <laughs> Tights are a dead giveaway because your ankles swell and you blew your shoe off. I hate them. <laughs> I've gone into Herbert's, I have sat down and I am waiting for my stylist to arrive. When she walked in, you just swore that she'd walked off the front of Vogue magazine. There wasn't a hair out of place. Her makeup was immaculate. Her nails beautifully manicured. She walked like a model and she walked behind me and she spoke to the mirror like hairdressers do and she said, I am. Uh... <laughs> I said, uh, no, I said, I'm, I'm, I'm going next week. She says, hey, where are you going? <laughs> I said, I'm going to Italy. Who oh, said, I've been there. It's crap. <laughs> I said, well, what didn't you like? She said, well... <laughs> she knew the weather. Well, I poured down with rain the whole time of day. And the wine, oh, it tasted like bleeding vinegar. <laughs> and the food, oh, it was shice. <laughs> but the biggest rip-off of the lot, Ice, is the stick 48 of you on this creepy coach, Ice. Drive you for four hours through the most boring countryside you've ever seen in your life. Wall to wall, sodden grapes. <laughs> Just to take you to the Vatican to see the poop. Well, I've seen the poop on the telly. He looks about five foot nine, five foot ten. It's a load of crap. He's a little fat on a balcony like that. <laughs> and he doesn't even speak English. It's crap. It's a rip-off. Yell, hazes. I said, thank you, Judith Chalmers. <laughs> went on my holiday, had a great time. When I got back, couldn't wait to go back and have my hair trimmed. Went straight back to Herbert's, asked for the same stylist, Lizette. <laughs> In she came, looking as radiant as ever. She says, hey, why? I said, I've just come back. She says, oh, yeah, you went to Italy, did you? was a crap, like I said. I said it was marvellous. She said, oh, go away. <laughs> <laughs> what was the weather like? I said the weather was gorgeous, the sun shone the whole time. She said, oh, go away. <laughs> she said, well, what about the wine? I said Tuscany is one of the finest wine regions in the world. The Chianti in particular was, oh. Bellissimo. She said, oh, go away. <laughs> she says, well, what about the food? I said, it was a culinary delight. Tortellini, tagliatelle, cannelloni, lasagna, spaghetti bolognese, you name it, I ate it. Gorgeous. She said, oh, go away. <laughs> she says, well, did you go and see the Pope? I said, go and see the Pope. Go and see the Pope. It was the most moving experience of my life. I was there, St. Peter's Square, Sunday morning. Thousands upon thousands of people all gathered to see this one man. One man loved and adored by millions. He came out onto the balcony. He delivered his Sunday morning blessing. He came down from the balcony. He got into the Pope Mobile. He drove through the crowds. He stopped, he got out, and he spoke to me. She said, oh, get away! <laughs> what did he say? I said, he said, who the fucking hell cuts your hair? <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, from me, Pauline Daniels, I wish you good night and God bless. Thank you.